to ride on with your nice pants. Yeah. Developing heart disease can be offset by a healthy lifestyle. You gotta move every day, do some sort of exercise, at least 30 minutes, five days a week. Healthy diet, healthy weight, and not smoking. I made some changes. I make sure that I exercise. Of course, I watch my diet and I take my medication. I'm the chair of the School of Entertainment and Design Technology. At Miami-Dade College, we teach film, TV production, music business, and graphic design and web design. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. I enjoy my job a lot. I usually uh, take breaks from my desk with the students and I would take walks around the lake. We have a beautiful campus. And I noticed that I was experiencing some pains in my chest. At first, I thought it was indigestion, but then I realized that I would get out of breath. So I went to my doctor. Barry told me that his dad had diabetes. That's highly significant. We checked his labs, his sugar was very high. He had some symptoms suggestive of cardiovascular disease. And so we did get him in to see a cardiologist. So Barry had a stress test which came back abnormal and ultimately led to a cardiac catheterization, which showed that there were blockages already in many arteries. And when I woke up from the procedure, the doctor was there. He said, you're not a candidate for a stent. He said, you're going to need probably a quadruple bypass. And I had the procedure. It turned out to be a triple bypass, not a quadruple, thank God. The quality of care that I received in Memorial was extraordinary. And within four days, I was out of the hospital. Barry's heart is working completely normal. His recovery has been very, very successful. My heart is in the right place, thanks to Memorial. I'm surrounded by a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. It kind of keeps you young. I don't feel like I'm a 64-year-old. The students produce their own projects. We've been nominated for 12 Emmy Awards. We just won two more Emmys for a show that we produced last year. I'm very grateful to Memorial for giving me this second chance in life.